since um, being in the technical clothing business, we saw a real opportunity for uh, British Columbia to be best in the world at, at training designers in technical, designing technical products. So we were lucky that Kwantlen, the government, and Lou Lemon and ourselves were able to build this great partnership in order for this to happen. I think there was something else that uh, we knew that SFU and a uh, and, uh, university in Italy did an exchange program and the Italians came over to, uh, to observe, view, and learn what they could about the technical apparel business in Vancouver, which had me alerted to the rest of the world knows what we're doing, but we can't see the forest through the trees. And if we don't become best in the world at it and really claim it, we're going to lose it to the world. I know that Chip and Shannon Wilson are very generous individuals who have provided us um, a great gift for us to create a new school here at Portland. Uh, for current students, I think uh, the new Chip and Shannon Wilson School of Design will create an incredible space for them to um, explore, uh, be creative, and I think it will be a really fun um, and exciting world-class school. Uh, there's a few things that are unique. One is actually the, the program, what Quantlin's trying to do as a university. Uh, they're combining five different design schools, so it's interior design, it's fashion design, it's industrial design, graphic design, and foundation design. Uh, all these different disciplines are coming together so students get to learn from each other, so it's going to be a very dynamic and interactive design education program. So I think the fact that and then Kwantlen decided they wanted to put that group into one new building. So all those students are together, they're learning from each other, they're seeing each other's work. So for a young designer, that's, that's incredible, that's great. It's great design education. And they have, they've also bought into the sustainable aspects of, of design and incorporating that within the, the holistic uh, design approach. So uh, what you'll see is a, an honest building that takes uh, the environment into consideration, it takes local materials into consideration, it takes in the, uh, the energy consumption into consideration. So a lot of that, it's a, it's a green building, but it's, it, it's going to be exemplified in the architecture itself. credit goes to the team here at Kwantlen in the speed in which they've been able to move forward to get to here so far has been really a thrill for us. They really wanted to make it happen and I think when you get the Lou Lemon, you get us and you get the government and you get Kwantlen all involved and everyone wants to make it happen, it, when you can get the government saying yes and everything moves from there. <laughs>